<laughs> this guy on the mic back there sounds like Ludwig when he's doing like an over the top French. <laughs> hey, everybody! Oh, we're here to gather us about the music. <laughs> the music brings us together. Right. Uh, bienvenue à la première concert avant de le Tour Eiffel. On est Come là. to our house show. Kevin Yan will be there tonight. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, Samurai Champloo. Dude, it's, you're, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's a spinning image. That's exactly what you look like. Can you do the thing where you yell at Aiden in French like you're a guy? Aiden, get, Aiden, get over here. Aiden's coming over. Dites-toi, quand tu me fais chier, là. Pardon. 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 Excusez-moi, monsieur. I come uh, in uh, your bathroom, toilet. <laughs> I come. Uh, I want to blow it up like a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, have sexy, sexy night. It went a long time. My ass so backed up. Oh, it's welcome. so cool we have a f- translator. Oh, welcome. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to the Yard Podcast in French. We, in Gay Paris, finally. In Gay Paris. We, we're here. We were walking back. You might, you might be noticing that we're sitting on cardboard. And that's because uh, it is too early to buy chairs in France. And the grass is soaked, so we we stopped and picked this up from a grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> Salut. Oh. Ah. Hi. Oh, hello. Tu oh, regardes really? uh-huh. regarde le podcast? Oh, ouais. Oh, tu français? Know. Oh, ouais. <laughs> I know enough French to know what that means. Oh, mogul mail. Ouais, ouais. No, yeah, <laughs> he's a, this, a guy ouais, has oh, come up and he's explaining in French how he en loves mogul mail. Je suis lequel? The doppelganger. Ah, uh, pleasure to meet you. Hello. Oh, oh, yeah. oh shit! Little basketball. Yeah, I would, ball. I would, I would we love to do that. We're being asked to play French basketball, which it's, is played. It's just you, called you play basketball. You play with your feet. It's just a cigarette in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, right. that, that's bye. Bye. Bonsoir. Let's get, let's get this right. The fucking <laughs> American way. Bonsoir. 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 Ooh, yes, sir. Crack, 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 that. crack. One American style. Crack that American drink from America. There's so much. There's so much. There's so much talk about the American drink. This is so chaotic. Bonsoir. Okay, first off. We're in we're in gay Paris. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yo, uh, wait, why am I doing it? Hold on, can someone Photoshop this to hold the behind me the whole time? Uh, and a couple of problems off rip. One, slime keeps saying bon suite, which is a combination between bonne nuit, which is good night, and bonsoir, which is like good evening, because James Bond said James, it once. Why does James Bond Daniel Craig say bon suite? Because he probably fucking sucks I think he at says French. Bonsoir. <laughs> He probably does. Bonsoir. Like, Bonsoir. like good evening. He says it so good. In yeah. the last uh, James Bond movie, he says it so good. You can't good. say it that good because you did not no, learn it correctly. No, 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 no. He goes, Bonsoir. It, it's, it, he's saying it to, <laughs> to what he finds out is his daughter, who's like a little French girl. And she's like, Bonsoir. And he's like, Bonsoir. That might happen to it, us and Aiden one day. We might find yeah. out he's our daughter. That is crazy. You, what, you do have a daughter. Are you my daughter? Yeah, am, am I your daughter? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I can, you can be my dad. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll uh, raise you good. I've been Aiden's father all week. Oh, really? yeah. Bossing him around. Even our Papa. father. Dude, I've been, th- I've, this is when we got the cardboard. We pull it from basically the dumpster of a grocery store <laughs> as it's getting picked up. We're like, okay, this place doesn't have any chairs. They didn't have any recommendations for us. So we grab a bunch of cardboard. I'm walking down the street with all this card- cardboard in my hand. It's 730 in the morning. And we get to this intersection. It's all a bunch of French like people and kids like going to school or going to work. And he just screams at me in French <laughs> at the fucking like, and people like turn and what look. did you say? Say what you said. <laughs> He's just holding cardboard like a, like and a I just have like, I just have you six s- pieces of cardboard in my hand, like I'm his son. Uh, attention, pickpocket. 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 What are you saying when you say that? I'm basically just saying the shit my mom used to yell at me. Like, get over here. Like, oh, you pissing me off. Like, you're always, you're always like this. Yeah. <laughs> that's how your mom would talk to you? Yeah, she'd, she'd always be like, you're always like this. God, I hate you. Yeah. that's, God, that's kill yourself. Yeah. Your mom, kill yourself. Your mom was saying all that to yeah. you. Wow. Yeah, my mother. She's dude, cool. She's that's, dope, dude. She's so yo, dope. Dude, there's so many dogs in this park, and that makes me so happy. Yeah, there's doggies they, everywhere. Their French dog Pokemon? was definitely like a nerf, uh, but they're still very cute. I, I like to think, because there's a lot of what, like, their dogs aren't really leashed a lot. So I just, there's a dog taking a shit right oh, behind oh, us. Oh, he's taking yeah. a big dog. Yeah, get it out. Yes, oh, sir. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's get good. There. Get there. Yeah, that's rappers. Hi. Go, go, go. Hello. What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, my God. This is the best I- day of my life. Oh, my God. Puppy Dude, bear. Oh my, he just on, he's on the podcast. Guess so so the there's episode. this idea that, that I think that every, they, there's a lot of, like, stray running dogs. This is just, like, French people when they turn 40. 
They yeah. turn into yeah, dogs. They're just guys. <laughs> yeah, it's actually it's, uh, it's French people. It's like in Spirited Away. Yeah. If yeah. they if they don't eat cheese for a day, they become dogs. They become dogs, and then and then they have to be saved. Now the dog coming up on Yan. That's a uh, Shiba bear. Uh, I Me- sent a screenshot to or a picture to Rainbow, and it was of that background. I said, "Guess where I am, bitch." <laughs> but if you haven't figured it out, we're at the Champ de Mars, which is the grass park in front of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. yeah. We went a little closer, but it was roped off and full of trash and shit. Dude, there is so much. There's like empty giant liquor bottles everywhere. This city is yeah. filthy. It, that's okay. It's a Most filthy cities city. are filthy, except Rapongi. But why are people drinking handles and handles of liquor at the Eiffel Tower? Be, 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 no, because I have a theory. You profit in life. You I have make a theory. Money, me, me, and Aiden, good time. me and Aiden workshopped this. So my I, my theory is that uh, the French are so miserable on their, in their day to day lives. That they they have either cigarettes, drugs, or alcohol every hour of every day just to talk to each other. Yeah. Just so they can like be in the room with one another. Coffee and cigarettes are the baseline. Yeah. But you you need a little booze in there. You just too. need something to like have a conversation with someone else and not want to kill them. Okay, I think yeah. I think there's Do you a think level. That's true. I think there's a level of hedonism to the French, but we could also learn from them because they have required two hour lunch breaks or I think ninety minute yeah, lunch they have breaks. Yeah, nap time. Every day. It's nap time. Yeah, nap time's good. And you can't take that away. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. In Bonsoir. America, we give too much power to the bosses of the world, and they dictate your life, how much you should work when you get up, when yeah. you go to bed. Here, they have less control, because they go on strike if you fuck up one thing. Here, I think they just don't have alarm clocks. You give your, your customers attitude when they ask you for US 11 size shoes. Ugh. So I was... The lady was so mean to me. Every our this. interaction, our interaction in the bakery changes my whole perspective of what happened to you at the shoe place. No, now. the shoe place was fucked up. <laughs> the lady at the bakery was annoyed at us, but the lady at the shoe place was genuinely like, "I, I, I wish this guy wasn't in the store." Talk okay, to me, pop okay. up. I go, I go to the Foot Locker. Weapon. I get, I get shoes. Weapon. They I go, look good. I get some new balances. I'm buying shoes. Nick's shit with some new balances. I, I don't. If you're gonna buy my shit, just don't say you went to Foot Locker. I went to Foot Locker where New Balances <laughs> and others can be found. Uh, where Nick likes to get his shoes as right. well. Yeah. What do they call I, French Foot Locker? Foot Locker. Uh, foot Locker. <laughs> Pousse Locker. Pousse Locker. Cafeteria, I think. <laughs> it's a Pousse Locker. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah the, mostly, the, the, the largest uh, like food group they eat here is just feet. Yeah. And you know uh, that? Yeah. They eat off of feet, they eat between toes. Cow, chicken. Feet. feet. <laughs> it's on every menu. Yeah, us feet. Oof. Oof. <laughs> yeah. I go to the Foot Locker and I just buy, I want some shoes because mine are kind of ratty and these are more comfy and we're walking a lot. And I go in in this uh, and I ask for, I, I hold up a New Balance I like. And the lady's like, uh, <laughs> she like rolls her eyes and walks over to me. And then I'm like, do you have US 11? And she's like, and she just t- takes it without, lo- like, without saying anything and just goes to the back. Mm-hmm. Not indicating. And it was just like, and she kept doing it. And I had to get another size because it didn't fit. So I had to go down 10.5 because I'm a fucking small baby bear. Uh. And she brings it back. And every time she was just annoyed to have to deal what with it. What Slime doesn't say is he picked up the shoe like Link when he opens a chest and he went, These! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm American. He sung a little music too. <laughs> Are oh, you not supposed to do that? He did. So do that. We were we were up early this morning to come here, and it's like six fifteen in our hotel room, and me and Nick are just getting up and like and dressed to leave, and we hear through the wall. Yeah. Like through the, what seems You're like through to do it loud. hotel room. It's That's crazy because he went far from his mouth with the mic and then went quieter. Yeah, you you were is... afraid to be me. That's why you'll never be me, but I'll be you. I don't want to be him. Yeah, because you're, you're afraid. Because you're afraid. Because yeah. I'm afraid to yeah. be yeah. him? Because you, you have fear yeah, in your heart. Yeah, I'm afraid of the social blood. consequence. There's fear in your bloodline. Fear, fear inside of you. Was your father afraid? <laughs> Corwin? Is that why he had you? <laughs> was he, was, did he have you because he was scared? Did he hope that you would take away his fears? You're like a dog in his life and you need a companion. I feel like these are, are different questions. Are you the questions. dog of your, of your father's life? <laughs> why, why are they playing R.E.M.? Yeah, yeah, they are crazy. Copy- are, we, are we getting copyrighted? This is uh, the- if it picks up on the mic, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe this beast. is the French's passive aggressive way to kick us out of the park. I Speaking like of the passive aggressive, or uh, just the normal French. Oh, and- dogs and- out. <laughs> Sorry, dogs out. What do they call it? Bail. What is that? Couple dogs. Don't here. put them. In- what do you call them? Don't mm. grab the grass with your toes oh, like their hands. Mes pères ont sorti mes sorti de la maison. Piggies. Il y a deux perros here. Me and Yan were we were walking downtown and. This guy, just an absolute monarch of a man. He's like 6'4", uh, and he's on one of the Lime scooters. So he's going real fast, and then uh, there's a car that's, like, turning, but, like, stuck on the on the crosswalk. Uh, and he goes, and he yells, like, Allo! As he's, like, going up, and then he goes, 
<laughs> and spits on their car. Whoa. And then just swerves around the car. That's so, That's so uh, And I was like, oh, they're like that. Yeah. We make fun of them for doing, like, for spitting in conversation and being mad and stuff. And they just do that shit. Yeah. You saw it in okay, real life. Okay. Here's what I've discovered the French love people who speak French. Yeah. Okay. Because I've had amazing interactions with everybody. <laughs> and I speak, like, I understand equivalent to, like, that of a five to six year old. But I'm understood and I understand. Yeah. You show up and you say, well, and you Where? don't. Where? And they hate you for it. Yeah. Because, and it doesn't make sense because, like, for one, like, tourism is what makes Paris operate. Paris. Paris. It's just weird because you're saying that, like, Slime doesn't know French. I don't get where you're, you're coming from because he yeah. clearly. Yeah. Excuse me, my, uh, uh, can I see a, your, uh, your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> You know more French than that, surely. <laughs> it's also really all you need to know. <laughs> that gets you through I most said that to the cafes. Guy at McDonald's. That gets you a hotel room here. <laughs> yeah. That gets you food. I said to the guy at McDonald's and he and he showed me. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, sick. fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because my, my interactions have been insane. That's great. <laughs> well, I, mean, I think you deserve are, it. Are they impressed? Like, do they know you're American? What's their... Dude, what's it? I know I'm crushing it because they never ask if I'm American. They, oh. They'll name every country. They're like, you're English. Last night in the Uber, he's like, oh, you're English. Oh. You're Brit. And I was like, American. And every time I say it, they're like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, because they just assume your French could never be that good if yeah. you're American. I got called ca Canadian. Which was That's high funny, praise. That's funny, because your French would just be so different if you were Canadian, I feel like. Yeah, but I'm as equally unintelligible as a Canadian is. Fr <laughs> Canadian French sounds like if a French guy got hit in the mouth with a pipe. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, he's right. It does sound like Or maybe that. if you like played French in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> like and like then, in the Black Lodge. Yeah, you try to say it, yeah. Um, but, but well, I, I will say this. I, it might sound like I'm bitching, but like... Also, also, right after the Foot Locker thing, this is like down the street from the hotel. I have to get toothpaste because mine ran out. I get two waters and a toothpaste. The guy punches it in, and he punches it in on a calculator because it's like a little like bodega like style small shop. He punches it in on a calculator, and he shows me 10, and he's like, 10 euros. I'm like, okay, cool. I pull out my card, and he's like, ugh, rolls his eyes, takes out the little card reader thing, and then he, I watch him, it's, and it's small numbers, but he punches in 18 euros. Yeah. And I was like- That's the tax for- uh me and you. And I look at him, yeah. and I roll my eyes, and I just give him the card. It's I'm crazy, because like, now he's rolling his eyes. Yeah. Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, yeah that's hurt, hurt people, hurt people. people. Yeah, he, that right. guy hurt he me. He misclicked zero, because eight's right next to it. Yeah, yeah, because the eight on the calculator looks like a zero. And if you, if, call, if you called him out, I'm sure he would have been like, ah, désolé, excuse-moi. Excuse-moi. Excuse-moi, monsieur. Oh, the numbers, Mason, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I let him have it. I was like, you I, know you what? If, he probably runs this scam once a day and gets and he racks it up, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. Uh, if he's scamming me for eight euro, he probably needs it. Yeah. So I let him have it because I love a good hustle. And also, the lady at Foot Locker, it's fun. I like the idea. So this is a, this is an inverse. People might be be like, this doesn't make sense, but people in America they have their job at Foot Locker or whatever, and it's like. Corporate corpos say you have to be nice. Be nice to the customer because they're always right. Me and Yingling worked at Bed Bath & Beyond. Rest in peace. Salam Aleikum. We Yingling's used to work alive. there. Rest in peace to like, your job Which there? Or both, like the company? Both the company and Yingling are alive. One of these is not true. <laughs> I'll let you guess. <laughs> this is bad for me. <laughs> Yingling's dead. <laughs> as we, this this changes my life. Bed Bath & Beyond went out of business, but they had this whole, like, <gasps> like you have to be nice to people. And there's a doggy bear here. I love doggy Hello. bear. I mean... <laughs> And you have to be nice to people and, like, no matter what. But here, it's like, if you don't like a customer for any arbitrary reason, fuck it. Let's let's mm -hmm. ball. And mm -hmm. I, I, I like that. It's refreshing. It's true. The customer is almost never right here. I think that's <laughs> actually really cool. So when I go in and the Foot Locker lady makes me buying shoes a harrowing experience, like she has BPD, I'm like, this is cool. <laughs> I'm I'm down with this. French people do treat workers very nicely, at least in language. Yeah. They're, they're always like, they're always like, Thank you. Have a good day. Like, be strong. <laughs> What's the have a good day here? What's uh, the have a good day equivalent? Bon journée. And bon then they'll also be like, bon courage. What's that? Which is like, like good, good, good. Get in the garage. Good, be strong. Get yeah. in the garage. Be strong. Get inside get in the, the garage. garage. Get, in, get, in, get in the garage. I love to keep me. you. That's because they all live in apartments and don't have garages. So it's like you've made it if you have yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, uh, I get it. What do you, do you guys like gay puri? Do you like yeah. it? Yeah. Aiden hates right? it here. It's actually crazy. We love it, right? It's like I love it. It's so fun. It's so it's great. So, like, it's, the thing about it is that it's <laughs> and you've shown it's us a around. City. And you've shown us so much. And you <laughs> and you know French. Oui. 
<laughs> I, you know, you know what me, so me and Yan hung out with uh, Ludwig's sister last night. She's so much cooler than Ludwig. Oh my god, she's pretty tight. Necessary. Um, she's like. She's like three times cooler than you are. And something that we uh, deduce from hanging out with her is that uh, I I love when Ludwig is in France speaking French because he he likes to talk about things because he likes talking in French. So like normal Ludwig's a man of few words with us normally where we're like we want him to tell us how he feels and what he thinks and what's going on in his brain and we just can't get in there. But when he's talking French, he's just like, man, beautiful day out. This is a cool looking car. He just wants to use his language and he just talks more. I'm I'm saying so much wisdom that you're missing. I'm dropping well, so many yeah, little gems. I don't speak French, so maybe if you did in English more, I could get some of that wisdom that you got in there, bud. Yeah, what is it about French that makes you open up more? Because there are so many more words to say so many more things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful car. <laughs> nice. You're right, man. Good fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were saying. What did you say earlier? You need three things. Uh, a be- a batasserie. Yeah, every Frenchman needs three things. You need fromage, <laughs> one stick of cigarettes, and a good fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what accent is <laughs> that? was like borderline Borat. It's yeah, like, it's, it's out of it, Borat. It's kind of what they do to Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast, because his French accent has like the hardest R's. Is Lumiere <laughs> the blackface of French people? I wouldn't use that wow. term, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because Why you I would that? probably find like a word in French that would be more eloquent. Probably yeah. <laughs> equally offensive. How do you say blackface in French? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I Dude, like we're all having fun. I uh, So I like that. I like how there's an honesty here is if you don't like someone and you have to serve them and in some sort of capacity as a customer worker relationship... You can just tell them they'll fuck themselves or be really rude to them. I don't mm. feel like you do like this because you in, you frame one complaint about it when it happened to you. I did complain about it because it was so new, but I walked away from it being like respect. I see. Yeah. Like that guy scammed me. I just don't know the game good enough. Right. Do you think that your job is to be mean back or do no, you think? No, not at all. Hundred percent, not at all. My job is to know the game to make make sure people don't treat me like that, which is either which learn is- French or tell the guy. Uh, too many yellows, too many. Uh-huh. I uh, got too you. many. You know, less now. So, so I'm I'm with it. I actually like it here. Of all the traveling we've done, I think it's pretty chill. I think the vibes I, are cool. To be clear, he's already brought up a, leaving a day early. I I am. I booked my flight. He already booked his flight also, to leave a day early and hasn't changed his clothes once. <laughs> that's not haven't changed your clothes once. Okay, the first part. Sister's same, fine. The second same, one's a narc. The second one's a fact. Same clothes whole time. <laughs> Both are facts. Most you've left the hotel probably on a trip. And facts don't care about your feelings, especially in Amen. France, because they yeah. don't care about your feelings no matter the situation. I've been pushing slime. I made I made him come to a group workout. You didn't make me again. Your sister suggested it, and I was like, "Well, I'll be nice." You, no, you were humming and hawing a bit. He was, I humming was. And, yeah, well, he was humming and hawing, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's doing this. yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, and well, were, me and Yam were getting dark intel about Ludwig from from P. She does that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Him and his mom will narc the shit out of his life. Yeah. It's beast. They're airtight. <laughs> they're not. They're not airtight. The thing they tell you surface level. They don't know. They they know the secrets that go way If deep. that's surface level. Oof. They know the oh, shit. Oh, you know what I've learned? Too. I've learned that Aiden um, would do so well here. And the reason why is we're talking to Lud's sister. And she we're, she was talking about how like she's just like made a bunch of friends. And we're like, oh, like how? Like, do you go out and stuff? She's like, no, not really. And it's like, well, how are you making friends? You're not like making an effort to. She's like, well, well, the other day, I was just kind of, oh, hello. Oh, puppy man. She was like, the other bonjour. day. Bonjour. Bonjour, puppy. Uh, bonjour. Qu'est-ce que tu penses de ça? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a beagle that has just shown up, audio listeners. <laughs> a beagle, and he's saying what is in French. Woof. Oh, hello. Uh, you want to say something? Sorry. Oh, no, he's shy. <laughs> he's shy. shy. That's fair. <laughs> um, uh, she was saying that, like, yeah, the other day, I was just hanging by the harbor. And a fisherman came up and was like, can I have your number and hang out with you? And she was like, sure. And they hung out and then they didn't talk ever again. And wow. she's like, and I just made a fisherman friend. And I'm like, that's what, that's Aiden's wet dream. That Wait, is Aiden wants a fisherman dream. to come up to you him so bad. You do want so a fisherman bad. to come Papa. up to you and grab you by the waist. Papa, <laughs> can we move? <laughs> you don't like Paris, man. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a fucking duel from Quincy. Nah, no. nah, fuck with it. Why, 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 why don't you fuck with it? I love fuck I, it. I love how you don't like Paris. I fucking get up at six a.m. There's no Dunkin' or at any corner. <laughs> Nothing's fucking open. <laughs> I'm up at uh, six a.m. and it's just a bunch of fucking French people. What the fuck? That's Quincy. That, Jesus, that's, wow, cool. that's accurate. Why that's don't accurate you like France? As such a worldly why, yeah, why, traveled why are you person, so upset. Uh, 
It is. Uh, it's pretty stinky and <laughs> gross. <laughs> and that's most cities. And mo po- and po- poopy. Okay, uh, they do have more poop here than normal. Here. It smells a bit like a like um poop from an ass or a butt. <laughs> that's part of what I don't like. Hell and, yeah. uh, no, yeah, you know, I think people actually have hyped the smell up a lot. I don't think it smells bad here. I think that there are pockets that smell like butt ass for sure. There's a you zone good? right outside our hotel that could are they cripple just like a small a, child. Are they burning poop for fuel and like putting it in the street? Yeah, do they burn the poop here? They it don't feels burn like the, they, no, burn they burn the, the poop that's for fuel. That's why the bathrooms are in separate. That's why the toilets are yeah, in separate Yeah, one's room. an incinerator and one's a toilet. It needs to go into the funnel, yeah. funnel where they burn okay. the poop. Okay. Okay. entry level the job. It's All like right. McDonald's and then there's like poop smith from Homestar Runner. That's a very deep level job, actually. Where you're just like shoveling shit into a big furnace. Into the big incinerator that fuels Perry, and that's why the air quality is so low. I do think that French food is probably better for me because I've been taking lots of dumps. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah, I've been dumping at a high uh, quantity and velocity. Anyone who's new to this, not hip to this, uh, Nick is often constipated. Yeah. It's the funniest thing about him. Conscious-pated. <laughs> it's when you're a dope rapper but also cannot poop. It's when you only shit in backpacks. Uh, <laughs> I think I think Paris has some flaws, but to its credit, don't we all? it is great to travel around. The metro's gross. <laughs> It's just so hot. At least hot. they have one. Just so hot. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. also, got hit by a also, bus. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I didn't say it was a better than... I didn't say it wasn't better than most of America. I didn't say that. Gun to your head. Gun to your stupid, beautiful Gun. head, yeah. my daughter. <laughs> L.A. or Perry? <laughs> Gay Perry. Oh, like without this yes. hey. accounted for? Oh, hey. per- Perry. Perry. <laughs> Perry. He hates L.A. more than Perry. Paris. For so sure. He likes Paris over LA. Dude, but we went to, okay, so me and Nick stopped. And he, we, had, he, we had like a nine hour layover in Copenhagen, and it's just not even close. It, Copenhagen it's does just, Perry. It's just the, like Copenhagen is so much yeah, nicer. It was pretty Paris. pretty. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I, I think it's just like, uh, it, it, Paris reminds me a lot of San Francisco, weirdly enough. And it has all the same bad things about it. Speaking of, speaking of Copenhagen, me and Aiden went to Christiania. Which is that, like, how do you talk? What is it? It's like a sovereign nation inside of Copenhagen or some shit. Yeah. It's like, it's like a ungoverned. I think Yes Theory made a video about this, but it's like an ungoverned land where they are not technically part of the EU. So you Basically, step foot into like this walled off area and then you're just no longer in Europe. Yes Theory has a, has a video about this that some people may be familiar with, but uh, I think a long time ago, there was a group of Danish people who were basically squatting or living in these old military buildings that they had in this section of the city. And people lived there and set, had been set up for so long that when the Danish government came in to remove them, they were just like, no. And they just all said <laughs> no. They, uh, no. And uh, <laughs> there were too many people, and the Danes were like, well, we could turn our military on a bunch of our own citizens, or we could just... Take the L. Just let them have it. And they just yeah. let them have that, it. You know what? You say a lot about America, but we don't let them have and it. And it's so tight because, like, weed is illegal in Copenhagen. But if you go into Christiania, they just are selling weed everywhere and smoking weed everywhere. So yeah. it's like the Vatican City, but for cerebral Dude, runs. It's, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, it actually is. It's like, There's a little less Latin and a little more weed. It's like Monaco. <laughs> And everything is very, like, community-driven in there. Like, you're not allowed to take any photos. So, like, you go... And it was kind of crazy. It's like a... Like in GTA, when a drug dealer's programmed to check their shoulders every four seconds as, as like an <laughs> idle animation, that was like everyone, and they were just, they had like stacked up milk crates, and they were just selling drugs wide open, like all types, hard drugs, it like was everything. A, it was like if you were performing being a drug dealer. Yeah, Because yeah. they had yeah, to- In a role. He, let, me, let me look over my shoulder like I'm, I'm watching out for the feds, but also you can see my entire setup and the drugs very clearly from about 20 feet away. Yeah. It's like you're an extra in a drug dealing movie. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we learned- weird. Hold on, the dumpster truck's here. Yeah, we do have a dumpster behind us. Sorry. Perry- <laughs> Dude, there's five of those. One for each of us. They're filled with poop. That's They're delivering the food from. to all the schools. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you grow up and you begin song. We did, we did learn uh, from some of the locals who are showing us around. Uh, they have a code word in the camps, which is cheese. And if they yell cheese, all the drug dealers just scram in different directions. That's crazy, because in America, it means to smile. Yeah. Cheese. But there's no photos there, so they don't have that problem. Right. Okay. That's, uh, that's why, why that's why it's photo-free, because yeah. they don't right. want it to be confused. It'd be yeah, so it confusing, because like... Right. It was pretty fucking cool in there. It was, and we were, we were before we went. Mo, who was showing us around, was like, uh, "Yeah, I want to take you guys here, but there was just like a like a big shooting. Do you guys want to still go?" And we were like, "I think I'd want to go more. I'm from LA. I think I'm down to like the odds here are probably still way lower of getting There's shot." There's a shooting yeah. in my in my neighborhood every week. 
Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, fucking run it. And I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah. I'm like, let's <laughs> let's dance. Yeah, that's also bad. <laughs> What's bad? Being the one that's holding the gun for shooting in your neighborhood. They got gun, they got shot gun the, crime I, here? I shot the sheriff. You but, take back what's yours, and Bob Marley, which is my password to everything. <laughs> Dude, we're at fucking dinner, <laughs> all right? I set up a dinner. I, I have a lot of complaints about Paris. Paris is not my favorite place. I like France, but I like the south of France. Mm. Uh, but we're at dinner. I booked this place. It seemed nice. Two-hour, like, tasting menu, eight courses. Hot as hell in that room. You know he, you know he picked omakase, but in France because he's that big of a weeb. It was not Japanese. It yeah, was... but they served you. You had to. They. You oh, I don't think omakase set, applies set to menus, any tasting menu. Hold on, yeah. set menus Pause. are not a Japanese thing. You know that, right? He's learning this for the first omakase time. I wanted to say it yesterday, but chef's choice for like a sushi chef, and it could be different for like two different groups. Omakase is what gonna say. I'm just gonna step ahead of it. He's gonna say it again. <laughs> <laughs> omakase. <laughs> anyway. So wait, this is uh, not so, a Japanese so, 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 so. thing? No, omakase is a Japanese thing, but tasting menus, set menus are not. That's I have yeah. never... If anything, dude, I, grew a French up, thing. I grew up in the fucking, in the doldrums, bro. Dude, what? When, when did you guys have your first tasting menu? What age? You Me? know what mine was? 33. Uh, I was probably like 15? 20, maybe like 23, Maybe 24. six years old. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, well, I've never been to a place where it's the only option. But I've been to places where, like, there's a menu that's, like, the chef's selection, and they do all of it, and then you can, you can also I choose I thought it was stuff. something that they invented in the <laughs> Have you never been to Yakaya? No. He's never oh, gone he never to Yakaya with yeah. you. We talked wow, about this. That is crazy. I've been with so many people. You're the least yeah. favorite friend. I'm the least favorite friend of Ludwig's? Yeah, I'll, we're, I'll, we're learning. He was threatening to never hang out with me again yesterday. Uh, yeah, because I wanted Easily, to. Easily, yeah. I, I, well, what I, I didn't thre threaten. I, it was... It, it was, was a direct the, do this we or were, else. We were, no, at, no, no, no. we were at Le Jou. We were at a gay lunch restaurant. Le Jou. We were at, we were at Le, the Jew. It's called Le Jou. Okay? Le Jou. The Jew. Have some respect. The, it's Jew. called Le Jou. Gay Jew. Jew. It, it was a very gay restaurant. <laughs> it was restaurant. a very gay restaurant, but a uh, gay but anti Semitic place. Very it was strange. not anti Semitic. <laughs> it was full Semitic. I wanted to hang out with Slime that day. You were going to go bike you around and go rock climbing. For, you, were, you were begging for my fucking seed. <laughs> I was asking to hang out with you. Yeah, if that's begging for your seed, then yes, I was doing this. Hell yeah. Uh, because <laughs> I, didn't, I want to spend any amount of time with you begging for my seed. Because what a high it was going to Barry's workout class and sweating our little tokuses off. That was fun. And yeah. then getting dinner. Gay Barry. And, uh, and then... And hey, then, by the way, it was a gay restaurant. We're not being weird. It was literally actually, like... That part, it was also... It was like a gay bar. Semitic, it probably it was like a gay bar, but they had food. We had to pay with the 80s like, foreskin. Like gay bars couldn't have food. Because gay guys don't eat. That's yeah. why they're also cut. They're they also call it skinny. gay dinner here. <laughs> anyway, uh, you threatened me. I asked you to hang out, and then you said, no, I won't do that, and then went home and then watched Tetris videos and didn't watched, change your clothes. I, I watched it. And played Pikmin. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And, and, then, and then, and then, and then, and then, while you're there, and then while you're there, the one thing you did is like, let me leave earlier. Yes, yes, bitch. It's fine. I guess we shouldn't be surprised, right? At this and point. I, no. and I didn't threaten you. All I said is, when we get back, it's we're, it's business like usual. You said I'm never gonna hang out with you unless it's for which the is, fucking which show. Which is which is how it always. You operates. said business like usual, but then you upped the stakes of the I, threat. I let the stakes be known. Let them ring. Let them sing. Yep. Listen, listen, yep. you piece of shit. Yep. We had a really fun time traveling together. And hanging out together before these jokers got into the mix. And I was like, this is quality time. Attention, terrorists! <laughs> <laughs> there was a place called Isis Cafe, and I'm like, oh, cool, they're turning a new leaf. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 yeah. They, learned, they learned about oat milk, yeah, and now they're, they're like, like Fuck, damn, we, have to be mad we don't anymore. have to be fucking doing stuff like this anymore. <laughs> What's up? We're back in America, Des. Today's, po <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by Cash App. It's got tools for saving, spending, and sending, and it's an all-in-one way to control and grow your money. Because let me tell you guys something. I found a guy. You found a guy? I don't know Wait, if you know this. Guy? Oh my god! But Has that always been there? I don't... Dude, I, I want to look at it. I have a hair problem. Well, no, you, don't, you don't have a hair not, problem. I, say it's... I, have a hair, I have a problem where my hair doesn't grow as much. Oh, I, yeah. I found a guy. He can fix it. Really? Okay. That's probably expensive. It's extremely expensive. I feel okay. like... But I trust him, and I think it's going to be wonderful. Do you know him well? Why not, do you... uh, not at all, no. But you do <laughs> trust him. Well, yeah. Why would you, what makes you trust him? I think he's a trust... I think people are trustworthy, okay. and I sure. think that's important. I'm, yeah. so, I'm sorry. How do you have enough money for a hair transplant? Well, I mean, well, it's, it's a lot of money, but you save. You use things like Cash App, financial tools. 
things that make it easy for you to save up money for the things that help improve your life. Do you understand how different I'm going to be with real hair? Not Tony Star type of authentic. hair. Authentic. Real, authentic hair. Wow. Don't you understand? And this guy, he'll solve everything for me. It's cool that you were able to save up enough to completely transform your life. Yeah. And after that, I'm going to get nine dogs. Uh, I, f- I feel like that's... The They're going to get hair too. The hair thing is a great example of why you should download Cash App in the App Store or Google Play to see why it's the number one finance app in the U.S. App Store. You can click the link in the description below if you want to download. Or you can click the top of his head with your finger like this. Ow! Did that hurt oh, you? It hurts when you do that to people. Is it a button? Oh, yes. That pain? Every bald person, mm. that is extremely painful. Well, I'm glad, That's you, what sa- Batman was I'm glad about. you saved up because now you can protect your head with a full set of hair from Turkey. I, I don't have that much. I can't afford all of this. It's all, it's all from Turkey. <laughs> you can't have a helmet it's either. It's all from turkeys. Turkey hair. Back to the episode. In Francais? So yeah, you held it over my head. You know what I said? I stared in the face of death and I said, no. Yeah, like a Frenchman. That's You've right. become Parisian so fast. Easy, easy peasy. Because I like it here the most out of all you guys. Uh, I just feel I like it's French the most months. time you, you know spend you in a place that we've been to. Huh? I just feel like it's the most time you've spent in a place that we've traveled to. I like, I like it. I like, the, I like that guy. I think it looks cool. The that Eiffel Tower? Yeah. It is pretty dope. I actually I'm don't, thinking I don't we, mind it. Hey, I, it is a weird color. We... Looks like Maybe it's time to take butt. back what's ours, huh? This was never you ours. You want to go for it? They it gave was, us. It, we should take back what's ours. They gave us so much. They what gave they the Statue of Liberty, but how nice would that look next to the Statue of Liberty? I'll give them back the statue. I'm over it. Let's what is French for? I have a bomb, and I'm going to use it on the monarch. Sous ma bite, couillons. Sous ma bite, couillons. He said it. Sous on the beat. I didn't like it. That's that shit that come with the roast beef dip. Yep. Listen. <laughs> what was oh fuck you? I was gonna say something and you fucked it all up, Ludwig. You got us out here fucking bro. seven a.m. like an asshole. It's fucking bright. It is bright. It's bright and it's toast. We did come during a heat wave, which is a bit of an L. Yeah. It ends right as we leave too. Yeah. Um, come during a heat wave. What am I eating in a sauna? <laughs> <laughs> the heat has had terrible effects on all of us, uh, <laughs> <laughs> including me, including yeah. <laughs> well, who has brain damage now. <laughs> uh, the worst part about this one. Being in France is the time. The time zone difference is brutal. What are you talking about? The no, time zone. Difference. I have not felt it, the time zone difference at all. I've been doing a lot of work in meetings. It's oh. not that bad, and it it is not that in bad. A, not in like a jet lag way, in like a in like a logistics way. By yes, yeah. the time that people wake up and do meetings. Yeah, I'm working from like I worked like I did a show last night until eleven thirty. And then I had meetings from eleven thirty to three a.m. Oh my god! Yeah, you've been. Kind you of still woke up it. for this? Yeah, because I maybe give. you don't take a day off. Bro. All I do is give. Shit. I've been. I don't know. I've been saying it for so long, and at this point, I feel like it's just falling on deaf yeah, ears. I still don't really believe it, which is fun. Uh, I don't think that all you do is give. But uh, do I take? Sometimes you take. <laughs> like name one time I've taken. When you took away, when you said I won't hang out with you, he's you not took, taking yeah. that away though. He's, you know what he said at the restaurant. For two years, I said I two years. <laughs> two year, two no years. Isn't that crazy? Kaput. I said, I said two year. <laughs> I don't think of you. I'm like, that's crazy. I don't <laughs> sex with you, and I don't sex with you. It don't <laughs> sex with me anymore. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he does a bad French accent. That's my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why did they make it a poop color? It's yeah. just metal. Can we just look at it for a moment and just kind of take it in? Because it looks like one of my dumps. Oh, I got distracted. At dinner, 85 degrees, slime to the room full of people just says out all my passwords. Oh, yeah, he starts listing your passwords, yeah. which I know now. And he just starts going through them, <laughs> every detail of them. And then he's like, and I got this one, too. And he just goes, he says another one. I was close to I was close to hollering off your social. I chipped one. I chipped one in too. Yeah. I had one. <laughs> we all we all have some of Ludwig's passwords, up, like his bro. horcruxes. Well, because you know I wanted to participate. Yeah, uh, I thought so it was important. People of Perry, uh, the uncut rapper, eighty nine exclamation point. <laughs> that is, that's his Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that out, Archie. <laughs> so, that'd be so funny. No, if I, leave it in. If I ask him, like, like, hey, Ludwig, I need your password. And he tells me that. <laughs> oh, my God. But uh, uh, I was saying, I, I, the one thing I wanted to do on this trip, which I don't think I'll get to do, is I wanted to fight Yan on the top of the Eiffel Tower 
and whoever loses does a Mortal Kombat fatality. Yeah, loser gets ringed out like a... Uh, I was going to say, loser, like the Gal- fatality is, is loser gets thrown off. No, no yeah, no, I just uppercut You, you throw him up, and then they fall on I the top him of and the then spear. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, why do you think you're not going to be able to do it? Uh, because we he's leaving a day early. Right, it's because of time. He's dodging. Yeah, if he was here for live. 24 hours, he would have one. All right, hey, Lud and uh, Anthony, you guys have one try to try to lean on the Eiffel Tower in the video. And we'll see if you if you bank it later. Okay. Ready? Three, Wait, two, we each go right now? Yeah, same time. Okay. And you just got to bank it. Don't no, stay here. You're already, it's already framed oh. in between you. You're facing the wrong way. Oh, you're no, leaning back. Good. All right, uh, for the friends for the friends at home, did they bink it or do they think it? What if you... I binked it, you have to be nice to me if you hate me. <laughs> yeah, so that's the new rule. So, I hope I did and it. If you're yeah, not nice you... to him, he's going to say, post face. Post face right now. Post your face or spread post face. Dude, the problem is that they never post, post face. I reply, I reply to the fucking Dr. Disrespect stupid shit where he's hollering about pronouns of fucking Starfield. All it takes is one, is one brave soldier in those comments to post their chiseled... Jaw, it was crazy. And slime loses, was and they cr- never do. They just can't. That one guy who who was like, post your hard drive, and you were like, I will do it if you post just your face, and he wouldn't. Yeah, and he kept calling me a pedophile. How ugly you got to be to not post your face for someone's whole hard drive. <laughs> it's like, and it's funny because like, there's so many good documents. I, so on I do this. I make fun of people who are like basically transphobic, and I just say. They'll argue with me as like pl- pronouns are political because I grew up and my dad hates me and it's like okay cool and then and then you say post face post what you look like IRL and they're like what are you bro a chomo and it's like <laughs> no you're just a kid you shouldn't be talking right now lean like a chomo <laughs> has that been done before <laughs> I think it I think it has oh. yeah undoubtedly <laughs> uh, maybe not in a song context we have but another <laughs> that's another dog here actually if we feed the bird will it come up here. Puppy. If you feed the bird, yeah, like probably. puppy man, to come over here, puppy man. It's I <laughs> kill you with a drink, dude. This like weird Euro accent. What it, I I don't know what it is, this but is, like I could get used to that. This is just like EU po- like, like fake pop here, star, puppy star, a pop man. star guy. Yeah, like the like DJ you know the crazy fake pop song guy. that was going around. That's yeah. how he sings in that video. DJ Crazy Times. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I think Paris you. sucks though. Okay, wow. I'm with y'all. That's I think fine. I think the food is. Generally worse than the rest of France because there's so many ripoff locations. I've had some bomb food. That's the there's, only thing I really like. There is great food in Paris. I just think that there's so many like ripoff tourist trap areas. Yeah. That, yeah. Like you have to dodge the mines to find the gems. Oof. And in the rest of Paris, it's just good because it's just like uh, you're servicing the people who live there. The restaurant we went to last night was fucking amazing. I slept all day yesterday. Wake up really late. Yan comes home, my beautiful wife. He goes to sleep. He crashes. I'm like hungers as hell. Only thing open, French McDonald's. How how what time was it? When I you called woke this. Up? That's I also, by the way, not the true. I, uh, I actually I didn't realize that I won this uh, war in my brain. But I said, uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna book this reservation. I think Yan heard me say this. I'm gonna book this reservation for Anthony. He won't wake up and then he'll get McDonald's. I said all that, <laughs> and it happened all that. Yeah. I did sleep a lot. You know why? It's because I've been pushing my body to the limit. Ludwig's goddamn Dude. sister said, "Let's go and <laughs> work out a bunch." I said, yeah, she's that's cr- cool. She's, she's crazy. You're she's a beast. super athletic. She I, works out a fuck ton, and at dinner, uh, we like, we were like, we were labbing this menu that's like so good. It's like pizza and pasta and all this shit, and we're like talking about what the best things are. Winter comes over. All right, what can I get you guys? She goes, I'll get a salad. Uh, she, she dogs us like that. No, she, she was going to share she put, everything. She eats her vegetables. Very she literally vegetables. and figuratively. She, she loves vegetables, and me. she loves chocolate. vegetables, and she loves stealing slime's clothes. She doesn't steal Slime's clothes. Slime's yep. Slime stayed at her place and just never picked up a Tell suitcase. Tell your fucking bastard sister. <laughs> She's not a bastard. <laughs> that you're yeah. Don't make the face. Uh, nah. you, I'm the you most both, likely. You both are I, a bastard. You have a dead father. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one here allowed to say that. I know. Then he's using his privilege. Uh, diplomatic yeah. immunity. <laughs> yeah, you and your bastard sister <laughs> fucking bogart out. my clothes. We didn't bogart shit. I've been wearing this shit we, for I'm three gonna days I'm going to bogart straight. your records. Dude. I'm gonna fucking fly kick your fucking head off, and it's gonna roll down Yo, the Eiffel ter- we, Tower. We land. It's, the Eiffel it's Terror. Me, me Ian, and Slime. We all took the same flight. We land. We're in. We're in Paris. I, I get chum checked off rip because I walk up to someone in French. I'm like, "Excuse me, where's the bathroom?" And they're like, "What do you want to take a shower?" <laughs> that guy was mean. Because all bathrooms and toilets are split in this country. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so you can't say salle de bain. You have to say toilette. And then we keep walking around. Slime just looks and he's like, "I could sleep 96 percent of the country." <laughs> Just ninety six percent. Ninety six percent. When we when we first set up here, we were in like a different section of of the park, and uh, 
it was kind of fenced off. We were, we we're closer up totally there. This off. guy comes up to us <laughs> who's got to be like six five. He's just a huge guy, and so he's like he's obviously pissed that we're we we've set up there. We're gonna get kicked out. And you just immediately say, I, I can fucking sleep I that guy. guy. He keeps he, saying that guy. all week. He keeps saying, I'll sleep that guy to people. He couldn't even, yeah. like. That guy, I, that I guy first, he was picking out women and children. As much as he, uh, Yan was there. He was picking out only women and children. That's right. And he was like, I would sleep But her. now he's picking people her. that, like, if they held his keys over his head, he couldn't reach them. Yeah. 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 And he's like, I would sleep them. And I, mean, I think he I thinks that the French people are weaker. I could reach the keys. I don't. I think sleep. You, you could. You, I sleep you, you do not sleep. You me. couldn't sleep me. You couldn't. You could. could <laughs> Aiden, I'm you, sorry. You couldn't sleep. Let me. Let, I will outrun you. I will but run pause, away. Pause. This went too far. I you, could sleep you. You couldn't sleep me. He could outrun you because you slept at Barry's. I just outpace you. I did sleep at Barry's because my knee was hurty bears. Yeah. <laughs> he was getting lit up by the instructor. The instructor and your sister were fucking roasting me. Uh. But, she, but what all I'm saying is, I come to this country and there's no formidable opponents. <laughs> Except Yan. Literally, everybody at Barry's crushes you. Dude, Lud's cousin would would crush you. No, I sleep your sister. No, Joe. Crushes. I sleep your sister. Your my sister. Si- Olivia he said Rodrigo. my cousin, and then you switched to my sister. Oh, you said cousin. Yeah, your cousin sleeps me easy. <laughs> Dude, what's funny about Ludwig's cousin? He's he's almost forty. He's a he's super French guy, extremely French, and he'll he'll come up and he'll like fuck with Ludwig in ways. None of us ever. Yeah, have he grabs him by the neck and he's like, ah, yeah, and he's like, ah. So he he dogs you like a little brother. Yeah, that's so the funny. Beat. And then he'll fucking slap you really he's my, hard. He's my older cousin. Yeah, he's ten years my senior. He gave you, he gave you like a Looney Tunes esque smooch on the cheek at the end of dinner. It was so funny. <laughs> he's very fun. Yeah, he's great. He's yeah. also the same cousin. I've done a short on this. Who fed me a white M M&M, and M? Yeah, yeah. Which oh, was, that was him. just an M and M resting between his butt cheeks till yeah. the chocolate melted off. I gotta tell him I didn't. I didn't realize his game. <laughs> speaking speaking of stories that your sister would spill, that was one of the first secrets she shared with us. It was Friendsgiving, and she told us that at 2019. Oh, Friendsgiving, back in the day, the white chocolate story. Oh yeah. yeah, that's a classic in the family. That's cool. He's embarrassed by it a Did bit. Did your I think. mom know about it? Yeah, <laughs> they came. It was him and his brother, and they both came. They're both older than me. What to America when I was like four. And they basically spent a week terrorizing me. That's so beast. Picking up cigarettes my dad would, like, leave, like, the butts, like, smoking the ends of them off. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, they punched a hole in a door. <laughs> yes! They were crazy. They, I mean, when they were younger, they were, like, they they grew a bunch of weed. They, they fucking stole a bunch of shit. You're a narc. I bet that you still <laughs> haven't digested that M&M. I bet it's still inside you. Uh, like no, a pebble. No, I'm, I'm French. I bet there's a mushroom I'm growing French. out of Poop it. I'm French. Poop turns two times faster in my body. <laughs> okay, so um, why are we here? We uh, Why are we in Paris, you might be wondering? The Dun-dun. answer is I got paid money to be here. Dun-dun. Not got, that much. I got, well. <laughs> be real. I it was a, it was, it was an okay Less month. than usual. It was an okay Are you, you, are you f- fell off? You fell off. Yeah. yeah. This is your sunset rate. Your day rate's embarrassingly low those now. Of, uh, those of you who are maybe looking to book Ludwig for any sort of, like, thing... His day rate more to clean my house. It's kind of like booking like a two thousand. Drake does four hundred grand. If you're looking for like a balloon animal guy for like a birthday party, it's kind of in that same range. Yeah. Well, I took a low, low rate apparently. Yeah. Uh, Just dog shit to do to do an event here. I've actually said this on stream before. I'm in my bag era. Okay. I said when I went live and I was like, fellas, we've been doing a lot of sponsors lately. Part of the reason also is because Kelby's on board right now at Off Brand and he sells like a son of a bitch. Yeah, he does sell. He works yeah. me. I tell him every time, like, you work me like a hound. Kelby has a Kelby big. Kelby never uh, leaves the corner. No. Kelby has a big folder full of just insane blackmail shit. Blood, bones, on crud. Raid Shadow Legends executives. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, that's probably it. Yeah, the person who owns that company <laughs> has a, been caught multiple times getting cornholed by a, like. Yeah, he's got it's invisible a bit children. Of a, it's a bit situation. of a black book situation except it's just all mobile game devs yeah <laughs> and so these guys you know they got skeletons mm. most people do but they got way more mm. because you know they're working with like some shady ass j- and so so that's what we're getting a piece of that money we're taking it and we're dispersing it amongst people who you know deserve it more and Kelby that's coney i don't know it's a little close Kelby this 2012 steak.com oh i don't think we've gone down that rabbit hole yet 
Uh, but yeah, that's that's. Oh, hello, hello, dog. Oh, Doggy bear time. There's just been so All many. Right, it was fun while last audio listeners. <laughs> so many dogs. Why don't we start a steak.com? But it's like meat that we send people. Meat.com. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's called steak.com. Yeah, we, no, we can do. Oh. We'll, we'll coin it after the podcast. So if you're watching, just go to meatspin. Uh, <laughs> dot is it dot com? <laughs> dot, dot, dot ru. Yeah. G- just gamble and put ru. Yeah, and we're see not what sure. They we'll do. This own, is but, uh, just what Trump came up with, by the way. Yeah, yeah. The sharper image like steaks. First Trump steaks. Big thing. I don't think it was his first this? big thing. Well, it one was of his like his, his most embarrassing endeavor. Yeah, well, first failed thing, I suppose. Then. He threw the sharper image, which is an electronics consumer outlet. He sold steaks that he mailed to people. Like that food. so cool. <laughs> I want to make the Netflix for steaks. <laughs> That's a Black Mirror episode. I, I, want, I, send, I send you the whole cow. You eat as much as you want. When you're done, you send the cow back. I, I, bet, I bet in the Black Mirror writing room, I could be like, it's we eat steak through the TV. <laughs> and, and someone would be like, And we Shit. call it, stand we call up it, as it our crying. TV dinner. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Now, yeah. you're, now you're thinking like a rapper. It's, That's the it's problem. Don Draper. He's like, it's Gamefly, but for meat. Imagine if we could watch our dinner together. <laughs> Holy, you remind me of Gamefly. Remember that shit? Yeah. That was Netflix for games. Netflix for games. That kind of bottomed out. So you went to the damn thing. You I did went to a the lot. damn oh, thing. Oh, your shoulders are so big for me, Ludwig. Big shoulders for you. Okay, there you go. Monsieur. Big slap. Monsieur. Bonsoir. Uh, yeah. Bonsoir, I'm, sleepy bonsoir. I'm, I'm in my bag here. I'm trying to make money for off-brand. I got some overhead to deal with. Cock brand. I got <laughs> Now that's just inappropriate. Dude, he said, it, it, you, he made fun no, of your whole it, yeah. company. Because he called it cock brand. You dumped a ton of time He called it cock brand. I that love a good joke like among a lot friends, people. but that you guys just <laughs> went too far. Does YouTube Gaming know that they worked with cock brand <laughs> on that event? It's off brand. <laughs> YouTube oh, Gaming, man. right? YouTube Gay Men. So, right. That's, that's, come on, like, this is so immature, guys. Like, <laughs> now I'm feeling how it feels. <laughs> YouTube gay men is so funny. We should make that shirt. Oh my god. I don't Which think is weird. What if a jersey said that? They explicitly say no homosexuals in the meetings. Yeah, I, they do say that. Up to I, did say that. I did not say that. Obviously, yeah, that's why not. That. What, what, name one gay competitor. Actually, Sonic Fox is I don't queer. Oh, ha. Shit. Bitch. Bitch. And Sonic Fox ate a hot chip, which are now illegal. Yeah, why do you think he had to eat the chip, though? Uh, Makes you think. This, and this is mango coming out, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone who ate the hot chip at, at, at Ludwig's event is... Dude, that would be such a sick curveball. Wait, so mango what? Mango just comes out. Uh, so, <laughs> if, yeah, the hot chip got banned. I've been... I ate three of those in my life. I've made probably five people eat them total. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I've accosted them with spice. Apparently, someone ate it in Massachusetts, like a teen, and died. Didn't they eat a bunch? I don't know what I, the story is. I didn't read the story. How but could you die? Well, <laughs> there's a lot of ways. From a ch- hot Asphyxiation. chip. Asphyxiation. Dude, have you guys ever read the Wikipedia definition of death? It is so hardcore. Let me, re- let me rattle it off to you. A I bit just, of a I sobering just, moment. It just makes so much sense that you have. Death? <laughs> dude. Death is the irreversible... Hold on. I, For people I, who don't like this, skip to the next chapter. Death is the irreversible <laughs> cessation of all biological function that sustain an organism. Fuck yeah. That is a right. biological, that's a nerdy that's ass what way the, to describe that's it. That's what the woman at Foot Locker was hoping happened to her. <laughs> this? In that moment. Say, Excusez-moi. <laughs> New balance. And she, and she just went back and ate it. She, she, she bit down on her cyanide capsule. <laughs> her French Foot Locker cyanide capsule that they give everyone. And then she whispered to herself, not today, and then grabbed that size <laughs> 10 and a half. <laughs> Oh, uh, the French yeah, that, that's, people, man. Yeah, that's sad, because I think you're a fucking kid, and you just want to eat hot chip, and then it, it, it one-taps you. Mm. The hot chip's banned. Women only have lying now. <laughs> <laughs> and charging they phone. Yeah, and charging they phone, <laughs> and, and, phone. and being shopping. They'll, they'll be, they, <laughs> they could still be shopping, though. They don't need the hot chip to do the shopping. That was that was crazy. Yeah, that sounded like we're in the the belly of Jormunger. Yes, <laughs> he yeah. thought the same thing. Yeah, and we heard a swallow, <laughs> and a new member was joining us in the belly. <laughs> uh, you know, a classic French dish is What's just it, it's a pumpkin full of pennies. <laughs> just, that's a rural. Where thing. in France? A rural thing. It's it's a rural France. Rural yeah. France. Like thing. south, some, south, mostly south, mostly west. south, mostly south north. France. Do you think, do you think the guys in the footage before and after this moment know about that? About what? The pumpkin, the penny pumpkin. No, no, no. This feast? happened. This, w- this will happen in the future. After, we learn but about I'll, penny but pumpkins. But I'll forget and then I'll know. 
because this actually is a French backyard. People don't know this. It's weird. Yeah. They use American pennies for it, too. Yeah. So it's a it's a delicacy. And that's what I like. And it reminds me of the fall season that gets busy, you know, and Factor is a company. Right. That. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think Factor Factor is a company that makes fresh never frozen meals that are ready in just two minutes. Similar to the penny pumpkin. To be <laughs> clear, to be clear, Factor does not create penny pumpkins. And Fa- no, Factor it's, is not a fresh it's, company. It's, I think it's important that if you want to experience the penny pumpkin, you make it, you get it authentically in France, first time. <laughs> you want, you want to go to a spot. You wouldn't want it. You'd want it to be authentic. No, but no. I would say you can get other <laughs> great authentic meals from Factor, Wait, nutritious and chef repair. Yeah, as you're saving up for your your trip to France to eat the delicacy that is yeah, a penny pumpkin. To eat the penny pumpkin. Can I be real? We've been in France for this whole episode, That's and right. I've had yeah. all this French food. Yeah, and the Factor meals are just better. It's and I crazy. know that wow. despite having not even gone there in reality yet. It's yeah. crazy, right? It is we weird. We know that going to France and having Ludwig annoyingly order stuff in, in French is really just going to be a miserable time. He's just going to be stumbling through. I can't through stress his- this enough. Nick Yingling only eats factory meals, and he's looking amazing. He's looking yeah. good. He's, he was eating one actually earlier today. I walked by him. I say, Nick Yingling Anders. I want to take a picture of him and frame it and make it the default photo in frames at he's, the store. He's lost quite a bit of weight. <laughs> that makes us so 34 meal choices per week, 45 weekly add-on options. You got like apple cinnamon pancakes. No, nope. We talk about this one a lot. Uh, potato bacon and egg breakfast skillet, mm. which is a, a, an excellent one when you want to heat up and and throw like, you know how when they rob 7-Elevens with hot coffee? <laughs> You're saying it'd be I a good weapon. Say I, I wouldn't say I know that. <laughs> so you know how that works. You can heat up a factor meal and throw it like a clown throws a pie yeah. at a 7-Eleven clerk. That is kind and of you the can rob the place. Yeah, and the versatility is that you could also eat it. You, you, could, would, you would decide to eat it. Most people would eat it. You, take, not, a fa- you take a factor, you go into the 7-Eleven to use their microwave... And then you throw it like a pie, and it just, and it just, you, you cook it for way too long. I think, I think my, but my recommendation would you be, you get, you get your factor meals, you heat them up, and you just eat them at home. My recommendation <laughs> would be, <laughs> uh, you go to factormeals.com slash the yard 50 and use code the yard 50 for 50% off your first box. Uh, and you don't throw it at anyone. Um, despite how long you've heated it up, that's I think you should eat it. I mean, that's the thing about America. For America's number one ready to meal kit, in America, you can do what you want with your factor meals. We are in France, so you can't, and you will eat them. You'll in just France, eat we them. have to eat just them. Just eat them in France. In America, you should also probably just eat them. Uh, that's factormeals.com slash the yard 50 for uh, the code yard 50 for 50. <laughs> or you can live a little. <laughs> You can live a little. It's don't commit any felonies. Hey, let's, let's, see, let's go back to those guys in France, see what they're up to. So how'd you feel about the bag getting experience? It was a clash slash chess, like... It oh, yeah, was it fun? It was, dude, it was funny because I forgot. I, I don't know how I forgot because why I came to do the stream and then see my family. It's like why I took the opportunity. But the same day I posted on Instagram, I'm like, hey, no stream for a while and gay parade. Yeah, why did you say yeah. that? And then I was like, oh, wait, I'm streaming 10 You're doing a stream. I'm I forgot streaming because. that I was streaming it because I signed up to be the host of it, but I also forgot that I was streaming it i thought it was like a bait was it a good time uh it was all right it was all right it was fine the spo- yeah. sponsory it was yeah it was, just, it was very clearly a sponsor and like i think it was a difficult format but it you know worked out banged it out bing I, bang boom i think it's pretty impressive that you can do that and maintain like eight thousand viewers still the whole time dude that is you don't know it but that hurts his feelings no i think it's fine no that's like that for a pro, it's something that somebody else came up with, right? It's like if we got less than 100k on a video and someone was like, It's nah. cool that you guys can, like, you know, dude, shoot that in the like face. If somebody viewership. else gave us a, a, a concept that they just made up themselves and then threw it on our channel and we got paid money for it, I would be impressed if it broke 100,000. I views. care much more about the ability to have peak viewership than average viewership. Write that down, write that down. Fuck. That's a life tip. Fuck. And if I try hard at an event and I care about it, it usually does well. I think that you're a charming guy. You know what I was thinking about? I was like, all right, because I tuned into that stream for a little bit, and I was like, let me see what this is about. And I was like, I don't like these camera angles, and then I shut my phone off. But <laughs> I, so I looked at it, and I was like, well, where's a compliment coming? Sh- dude, shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> Fucking typical it's okay. it's okay. When we be- when we get back, you don't have to see him for two years. He'd sleep you. 
<laughs> now he's not my man. Hey, we can you we can always would, text over one thing and that's sleeping. I would, your I would bitch run ass. so fast. I would run so fast. I would just I'd gore you like an animal. Uh, well, if you run, you would probably put your treadmill down to six and then be like, ah, I could make. I could. Blo- I would blow my knee out to end your life. <laughs> would, would you blow me to end his life? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would. I would. It would, I would look like exactly brick. like a bear chasing a gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> they go fast. Okay, so I'm watching this stream, and I'm like, if I'm a career Ludwig guy, like I come home from work, I like Ludwig. I throw on Ludwig. Every I, I'm into him, and if he's on a broadcast that I like, maybe I'll just watch it. Maybe if I hear Ludwig's voice, it's like it's like the warming glow of the television, like a fireplace. Mm. And I was like. That is what it's like to enjoy an influencer. You're a younger generation's Sean Hannity. <laughs> He's and never I been do, more and right. I do cover the same topics. Yeah, yeah. you've never been more right. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm the younger generation's. I'm, I like to call myself a Rush Limbaugh. Rush, well, you'd like to think that, wouldn't you? Mm, yeah, I was. I realized I was like, hey, let me stop focusing on doing the deliverables and let me just entertain chat. So after a while, Eric, who is the Supercell Clash person, because it was Clash Chess. I had Eric, who's a Clash guy. Danny from Chess.com is a chess guy. And then I was supposed to be the person who glues it all together. But after a while, Eric would be like, yeah, so it's a triple draft here. And then he'd like take a pause and be like, Eric, do you think I could score a triple double? And I was just being slime. Yeah, and thank I just, you. I would take the last word he said, and I would look at him, and I would ask him a dumb question. You hear this, man? Um, this is how you become an influencer, man. The Russian anthem starts to play. <laughs> yeah, it's very poetic. Do you hear this, man? Very nice. Maybe I do know what do I'm you fucking think I doing. Can be Ludwig? big for you now. You and then it? and then I drop the craziest fantasy draft at midnight. Just oh, yeah? busted out a, an elite squad. Wow. Those are the, that's the work meeting you were in. No, after I had, after you had work meetings after. I'll tell you what happened after. It's actually crazy. You mean after the podcast? After the pod, I'll tell you what you tell us I had. your okay. dark web secrets. In the, in the, crazy. In the <laughs> ultra premium, which is just our friends. Our life is friends. <laughs> I did actually such a baller. I was in a meeting, uh, and. During it, I was getting a crep because I hadn't eaten that day. You should drink more water if you're getting those. Yeah, or I was, I was trying. I couldn't get there. Fuck! I'm so slow. Fuck 7 a.m. Uh, <laughs> it's 10. It is 9:40 right now. I wish you were both dead in, in, the, in the fucking street. During the, that, you have to wish. Dirty. You have to wish because you couldn't do it. You have to wish because Ooh. you couldn't do it. Ooh. During the meeting, anyway, I stop and I just, I just order the crep. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> I, I just, I just didn't mute, and in full French, I'm just like. Uh, excuse me, est-ce que je peux avoir le crepe avec biscoff, une de banane? And then, and then the person on the phone just starts laughing. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what kind of, what, kind of, what are you saying? Yeah. What kind of jibber jabber. You're watching One Piece again? <laughs> you actually get I away with that. Piece. You just get away with it if it's in a different language. Yeah, fuck yeah, by the way. Ooh, oh, well, I'm down. Oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Damn, yeah. Oh, you bro. know what? Actually, me and, uh, me and, this is America, we went climbing and Yan got recognized. <gasps> like from like the from like the extended LUD universe. From uh, no, did he Wait, get recognized what? from his amateur run in the CS:GO Open? It could have been that. Yeah, and was that what you got recognized for in the We Made Open five the stack? Because the guy came up and he he listened to the yard and he was like, "I've been watching since Mario Party League." And I was like, "Wow, it's a long time." Beast. And he's like, "Are you Yan?" And he points at Yan. He singles him out. He's like, "Are you Yan?" He's like, "Yes." That's so high. Wait, this is the climbing gym. This is yeah. This was at. Uh, I was there. No, 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 no. This no, was this at Cliffs. Is... You weren't there. No, I said in America. In oh, America. oh, my bad. I've only been recognized once here by one Frenchman, the person on the pod, actually. Yeah, the guy who's here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually kind of hype. That was hype. It seems planned. It was, was It was funny, because we were like, listen to the pod, he's like, no, but I listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny, because he made it, he was like, I look, I watch you. And he, like, made a general point. I was going through another exploration, too, of my, my, my dark and twisted mind, where it was like, so I, I thought about that thing, right, with chess things, like, okay, Ludwig, people who are Ludwig heads will watch it, Ludwig thing. And I'm like, okay, people who like the yard... They're just like Ludwig core, right? Like, yeah. Like if they're, they're Ludwig core, either still in it or they think they're above it. And they yeah. think they're above it. That, that is a, a sentiment where it's like, yeah, I'm fucking I don't watch Ludwig, Ludwig anymore. Kind of grew out, kind of grew out of Ludwig. Yeah. But. And I'm like, man, what a weird. But there's also the, the yard, the viewer base of the yard that's pretty big. That's like the, uh, like they, they started watching because of like, they like Blink 182. But now they like only listen to the other projects. Yeah, yeah. And they, they they make it a point to come up and be like, "Yeah, I fucking hate Mark Hoppus, but like uh, they fucked it up." But when yo, they... Boxcar Racer, that band was cool. <laughs> and we gotta be like, I we like, like our, we like Mark. I yeah. like the idea of I used to listen to Blink One Eighty Two, but uh, now I just watch the Kardashians. I've kind of moved on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've just, just followed uh, Travis Barker. Yeah, I just wanted to keep up with Travis. <laughs> <laughs>
I, 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 I will never have that feeling because I just grew up, I'm just older, and the, the shit I grew up with mm-hmm. was just different yep. media. Yeah, there wasn't yeah. sound yet. Different media, no, no fixed menus to be found. Yeah. Inside, turn, turn radio. It was for one channel. So you had to just watch what was there. But when War of the Worlds Dude. dropped, we were wondering what oh the my hell God. was going I on. I actually th- thought of you because I was... Because I thought there's, I was in an Uber on the, the way black here. and white convention for people from the 40s. <laughs> well, there's, this, there's this old French dude who drove me here, and he was listening to the radio, and he just started cracking up at the radio conversation. <laughs> and it was this, it was like these French people, and they're like, and I'm just, I'll say it in English, but he's like, "Sorry from Nebraska, crazy things happening over there." And it's like another DJ being like, "Yeah, what happened?" It's like man was driving down the road and sees someone driving the wrong way on the highway. <laughs> what does he do? He calls the police and he says, come here, there's people driving the wrong way on the highway. The police come, it was a man driving on the wrong way. <laughs> and that was the whole punchline, is that, that he that was driving on the wrong way. It, the, gu- the guy was, oh, it yeah. wasn't everyone else. Yes, and he was mistaken. And the guy, I've never heard a louder laugh uh, from a radio joke. Oh my God. He was losing it. I would have smashed a bottle over his I love mouth. that. I love that the boomers are the same. They're just having a good time with their, con- that's his content. That's, that's his lubbin. That's his lubbin. Oh god, that's disgusting. It's his morning every radio. Morning, you know it's every scary? morning he has to drive. I bet, I bet he, he has to drive and he puts on his lubbin and he laughs to the joke. He probably sets that's up his Uber to be dude. in the it's same slop. slot it's as slop. his favorite oh, people. It's, it's beautiful. Ugh. They all we all have our slop. Yeah, but some slop, all slop is not created equal. Mm. But, but my slop, but, but if you're able to enjoy the slop and it doesn't hurt anyone, what's wrong with that? Honestly, nothing. Oh, but bang. if you start to get fucking annoying about your slop, that's when it starts to get I dangerous. Like, I think that's when I will sleep about my slop. That's when you go to sleep or I will put you when to I, sleep. But that, that guy's <laughs> less likely to be pretentious or annoying about a slop than someone who thinks their slop's so good. My slop is yes. so good, though. I hate my people so who good. think their slop is so good. My slop's the best. I think you're right. Yeah. I think I, you're 100% I right. Also my only slop is better than watch every German person's and listen to the French breakfast But listen, there are people like me and like thousands of other fucking people, especially young people right now, where their identity is formed by the media they enjoy to this day. I mean, that's what that's why me and Dawson and, and to he will always deny this, but that's why we connect a lot is because we identify ourselves by the media we like, and it's very important to us. And that's just a problem of like not having like parental guidance or something. <laughs> so it's like, so I get it, and you're right. That's the, like the 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 Chad like like four dimensional brain take. But at the end of the day, our slop, my slop's better than your slop. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I know. But I'm glad care. that you can find value in that. <laughs> Profitez-vous bien. I'm going to fucking sleep this guy so hard, bro. <laughs> Buddy, it would take you five years to catch up. I would do an uppercut Fuck. you would fall off the Eiffel Yan. Tower. Yan. Fuck yes, Yan. also Yan. Because he didn't kill. like One Piece, the live action. He was, he was dogging it so hard. Because it's probably shit. You no, know what? You wouldn't you know. know. What Yan I should watch it. You know what Yan should do if he has an opinion <laughs> on something like anime <laughs> or some sort of show? I know what he should do. He should make a YouTube video. Don't do this to him. <laughs> Don't do this to Yan. What? Oh, come Zeke, on. Zeke messages me out of like the blue. It's like 2 a.m. And all I see is a YouTube channel and it says Kevin Yan. Oh. And I'm like, oh no. Wait. And I open it and it's a three minute review of Samurai Champloo. Oh. And, <laughs> and what he thinks of it. Damn. And it's got 15 and views. Zeke, did you Zeke, like Zeke, it? Zeke comments on the video and he's like, love this review. <laughs> Dude. The video goes private in minutes. <laughs> uh, I sent it to other people. I'm like, bro, check this oh, out. Yeah, he <laughs> To send to me, I'm, I'm just like, dude, come <laughs> on. How old are you, Yan? It was for a class. Oh, really? Yeah, it's for a college okay. class. Yeah, he was 26 when he made it. Got good music. music. What college ass class are you taking? That media you can shit. Media classes. That's fire. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's and that's Yan. Yan has opinions, and he wants you to hear them. Oh, that's funny. You know what? <laughs> He's like, what's I up, don't. every guys? It's the K Dog, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here back with another review. What's up? It's K Y, no jelly. Now let's get it. Oh, that's pretty fun. K Dog here. Wah, wah. So we watched Samurai Shampoo this past weekend. <laughs> uh, dude, I think that's fire, yeah. If you want, hey, this is actually you, want some tips you, you know, I think you want to be a YouTuber, but I went through the same thing, yeah. <laughs> Me and you, baby. <laughs> When I was 16, that's I what liked happened. It. So Yan is also a bit of a mysterious person. I liked getting a getting a look into his world because I, you know, for a long time he was just that guy that was really good at CS:GO, and now he's become, you know, now he's, he's a, become he's an appendage. A lover of I would content. Consi- I would consider Yan one it? of my organs. Yan loves DJ him, football. You would consider him one of your organs. You consider giving him one of your. No, organs? Yan is one of my organs. What in your organ body? specifically? Gallbladder. Do you mean like a horcrux, like Voldemort? If like, I was a guy, he composes some of my organ. 
He's uh, in my call You bladder. are a guy, though. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Yen. <laughs> Way to keep him alive. You are my... Uh, okay, you Cinema. are... Wait, this is we can do this. You're my kidneys because you filter me. Mm. You're my yeah. uh what's fucking you're my appendix. Right. Take oh, it or leave cause, um, it. Because you might bl- burst and then and, be useless. And you might, but I could up. burst. And then eventually he'll get rid of you and not need you anymore. Oh. You are my oh. you're my pancreas because you're so sweet to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the well, other way. So of, sugary other way of saying I can't think of anything for you. You no, 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 thought of the pancreas me. for you because you're so sweet for him. I was thinking of the lower intestine, but that's more your thing. That's where poop is made. Well, that's why I'm that in you. I guess you're my because lower where intestine. Your poop is made. So, and that, and you guys all make up me. And zipper is my spine. Mm. Yeah, because it's like a zipper. Because it's like the zipper of guys. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I appreciate you guys. <laughs> I think. I don't want to be what, around anymore. What? No, I'm actually just enjoying my day right now. Oh, it's always it's something. Nice That's what now. pisses me off. It's always... <laughs> By the way, <laughs> if you're watching this, if you check our Patreon episode, these two are going to get tattooed. Wait, I thought it was all four of us. Yeah, these two over to my left, plus, <laughs> you know, Yan and Aiden, are all going to get a tattoo. Are you not? Of the... Ah, I might, are you I'll, not? I might swing by. We'll see. All right, play then by don't. Ear. Play Pussy by boy. ear. I never signed up. A puss, a plus I thought you tart. did explicitly <laughs> sign up. No. What time are we going? Um, nah, I'll figure it out sometime this we're afternoon. We're going to get yard tattoos. Fuck it. We ball. That's how we live. And we're best we friends ball. forever. Yeah. And Aiden's on the fence. And anyone who doesn't get it will not be a best friend forever. I think Aiden's oh, being on the fence is okay. It's your first one, right? It's yeah. your first one. I'm I don't okay. know if I want it. I don't know if I want it right now. Why? I hate getting tattoos. I don't know where to put it. I think that if you want, if you don't hang out, if you don't talk to me for two years, you better get a fucking tattoo. Slimes, in Slimes has days, gotten got such an odd assortment of things while he's been here. You've gotten, you've gotten shoes. You're gonna get a tattoo. We stopped at Lush for bath bombs, dude. Oh my, Yan, I, f- dude, I'm me and Yan are in a hotel room. I think they might charge us. I admit, I messed up, guys. Did you fuck what? up the bath bomb? I. It looks like someone killed themselves in our <laughs> bathtub. I got this one. It's shaped like an apple. I, I still smell like apples. He smells really good. And uh, it's like it was good for like your muscles and your fucking body. <laughs> All right. Was the woman nice to you at Lush? Oh, she was so nice yeah. at Lush. The woman at the woman at Lush was very nice. Yeah, she helped us a lot. Yes, you have such a big muscle. I can get you this one for your muscles. Yeah, she talked about how big my muscles were and how beautiful my wife uh, was. Is this <laughs> someone you could sleep? <laughs> you sleep there, uh, yes. Oh, wait. <laughs> Where? Where? And so, and, and I get, it's like shaped like an apple, and you have to like hold it. It doesn't just melt in the bath. You you gotta like hold it under and kind of get in there, and it's just red. It turns it into just red blood water, and I splashed around a little bit. Yeah. You, you what were you doing in there? Why were you splashing around? Because I the what the problem Did was you I bring was a like, toy. No, I was I was watching a Final Fantasy VII video. I like to think that he just farted and it just created such a rupture <laughs> that the bubbles just flew everywhere. I, I'm in you the get bathroom. Nervous hands I just, watching Final I just Fantasy. got up. Like you adjust your position and like the displacement changes it, and it's a really like deep tub. Yuffie but, came on screen. He went, <laughs> but then it fucking it fucking goes and there's a wave and it just gets all over. So it, a lot of the towels are just tinted red. What a bad product. Speaking of defacing the bathrooms, uh, so the first night we were here. Uh, I got awoken at like maybe three, four a.m. by my bladder, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Oh, I need to pee, pretty bad." Um, but I didn't want to wake Aiden up the first night; he's a tired boy. So I peed in our sink, dude. <laughs> I did this seriously. Sink. The miles? Yeah. The yeah, Don I, B. I took a sink pee. Here, I'm gonna because the sink's Next really low. Time, <laughs> just wake me up. Just do that. I'm gonna get political on you, Aiden. <gasps> I'm gonna get political on you. Okay. I think that having a cell phone is a basic human right. Whoa! Wait, what do you what do you think about water? I think that that's probably like second place. Okay, to cell, cell phone, phones, water. I think having a cell phone is a basic human right, and I think it's egregious that cell phone companies cost they charge you so much. It's so yeah. dang it's so much. Exp- and I have to like go to the store, and there's like an one person who works there in a ninety thousand person line, and then I pay extra because yeah. there's a storefront. Mint Mobile has it all online. It's probably high because it's just like there's been inflation, so that's why the price is higher. That's part of it. 
I mean, it's imagine, just inflation. imagine not having a phone and you're just like a, you're like a damn cowboy. Yeah. You might as well be like cooking grits like imagine on the you're, range. You're like drowning in a grain silo. And you don't have a cell phone. What are you like, going to do? You do? Yeah. You, you gonna yell? You at least call your parents and say, this is how it went down, like I predicted. So if it's a human right, it shouldn't cost you that much. And Mint Mobile is only $15 a month for premium wireless. It's actually so cheap. It's, it's very crazy. cheap. It's crazy. Like, we yeah. do all these reads and we read numbers all the time. Yeah, well, that's like the lowest number I've ever seen in my life. That's the one that actually makes our eyes pop out a little bit. As soon as I get back from France where cell phones don't work, I'll probably look into this plan. And you might be thinking $15, what, do they give you a walkie-talkie and a, and a bullet in your head? No. <laughs> yeah. They give you unlimited talk and text <laughs> and high-speed data. The, the Normandy experience. <laughs> that's right. Nation's largest 5G network. Network. It's a real phone with real ass powers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan. You can keep your same number as well, so you can text some old flames. Yeah, you hear some old flames or some cold flames. Or the some band, cold flames. The, the rap group Probably that makes more jerky likely music. To be cold flames. Uh, <laughs> MintMobile.com slash the yard uh, and get you know cut your wireless bill just fifteen bucks a month. MintMobile.com slash the yard. Amen, gaming. Fifteen bucks a month. Do you think that when we go back to the episode where we're in France, you'll yeah. be dressed in like wearing a beret? Absolutely. Archie Willits. Let me ask you a question. Why did peeing in the sink, why was that a quieter option? Um, okay, so the way our room is laid out, like I'm in like this, I'm in like the main bed and there's like a curtain that separates me and Aiden and then he's on the bed across the room. So to go to the bathroom, I have to like go where he's sleeping and then go into the toilet and then just make a bunch of noise like flushing and all that oh, stuff. Oh, okay, so, okay. But, the, ba- but the, the bathroom with the sink in the tub is just p- part of my area. Right. So I just go over and the sink is really low. So I actually don't have to arc the piss. I can just pee right into the sink. And that's what I did. I peed into the sink. And then Aiden brushed his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and he got it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know you about this. You brushed your teeth in, in the sink. I didn't know about this until right now. <laughs> and the, the pee was kind of like pooling by the drain, so I used his brush. Bro, kinda... one time, I, I I didn't, I was, I couldn't believe that I was surprised thinking back, but I was staying at my friend's house a long, it was actually when I went to EDC, oh. and I stayed at my friend's house in Denver, and I stayed there, and when I was staying at his place, right before I left to drive home, which is like a four-hour drive, I dropped mm-hmm. my toothbrush into the toilet. And my, like I said on the episode before, my mom always taught me, look, just fucking no gloves. Just get in there and clean it. And it's, it's just toilet water. Yeah. It's just the toilet. And I'm like, yes, yes, chef, mom. <laughs> and so I grabbed my to- toothbrush out of the toilet. I'm like, yeah, all right, fuck it. And I just like rinsed it off and put it in my thing and drove home. And then I take it out later to brush my teeth at night when I get home later that day. And it smells like shit, like poop. And I was like, oh, yeah, no. And that's when I learned that toilet water is dirty. Did, did you, you brush use it? Did you put it in your mouth? No, I did not. Because I smelled it. You know oh, how I get about, like, spoiled shit? I'd like to believe him. I'm I, just get gonna... really, I get really nervous about spoiled shit and smelly shit. I'm going to believe him. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah. You get nervous about what comes out of he your fears ass what all he the time? Is. No, I... You fear, no, if you fear I, if the, the demon in your own body. One time I drank spoiled milk, and I, it, was, it was traumatizing. And so now every time, I, if, if anything's slightly spoiled, I just you, run. You release spoiled milk from your yeah, beast right in front of us. Everything about to control fear the supply. is wants- about control. Oh. And when I control what I do to you, then I'm not scared of it doesn't anymore. doesn't have to be to me. You can pick Aiden or something. You, I, you, I control you the most because you get the most mad about my farts in my butt. I do hate it so much. It's terrible. I think sometimes it is bad. Yeah, sometimes. But that's my. That's, so that's me exercising my will on unto you. You could mm. kill a newborn baby. I could. I genuinely think if I if a baby was like in a monkey ball, like from the game, and I farted in it, that baby would be dead. Inside. That's honestly your hope <laughs> for sleeping. Most why, why most people are maybe to turn into something cooler, like like a, like a moonstone or something. It turns into a kabutops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you know also. On the subject of me being an attractive guy, <laughs> everyone here is so. Beautiful. Oh my god, they're so. Everyone here is well, so dude, hot. They just so much. They just manufacture hot people here. That's what, dude. That's Portion what, sizes uh, are great. <laughs> you natty walk so much. It's so lit. When we were when we were walking when we were walking to lush because we were we were talking about that and I was like, dude, in, in Copenhagen, it's it's hot. It's it, even crazy. Every, every 10 minutes, I see the most beautiful human being I, that I think, I think they're crafted in a lab. I also think Europeans care more when they dress themselves in the morning. Yeah, I will say. Like, you can see the one tourist, and I won't point to them because that's rude, in our vicinity, and they look 
like they dress like an American. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's really funny? The, the other night we were walking back with, with the whole squad from that dinner place, and there's this, like, this is a really fat guy, and he's walking, and I look over at him, and he's, he's crossing the street. He's waiting across the street next to us while they're doing construction. So he waiting across the street, and I'm like, that guy is big for a French guy. This drunk French guy comes up to him and starts being like, oh, and starts talking to him in French. The guy's like, uh, I, I don't speak French. He's American. <laughs> and I was like, you, That's tough. you wear it well. That's tough. <laughs> like, Just like, instantly clocked. It was crazy. Yeah. And then the drunk guy was kind of mad. He was like, well, don't you speak of friends? <laughs> it's like, this guy's getting clowned uh, on the street. Yeah, it is easy to pick out an American based off, I think, general attire. Like, uh, we were doing the, the Supercell thing, and then Eric, the Clash guy, he's like, yeah, everywhere I go, people just instantly start talking English to me. And he's, like, wearing a hat that has the Clash logo and a shirt, and he's just, like, beat red from the sun. And he's, like, he's like a stocky guy. And I'm like, yeah. He's got Caleb's forehead tattoo that says, I heart eating shit. <laughs> That's right. Got kicked out of the French store for, you guessed it, being white. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think we learned? Everyone go around, say what you learned on this trip. Is it, it's all rice? I, it's it all rice, a mm -hmm. big one. It doesn't matter, I ate them in my bakery. Uh, what did we learn? Learn. Aiden, what do you learn? Mm. <laughs> did you learn about yourself? Did you learn about others? I learned that uh, I'm, I'm going to go absolutely nuts at a house show with Yan tonight. That's what I'm learning. I want you to really dig deep. What do you want me to dig deep? I want you to dig deep. I learned that even even the allure of moving to another country and starting my life abroad is not enough to overcome the the stench and the filth of Paris. Uh, I learned that if you experience Paris syndrome, uh, that makes you a drone, uh, and you're stupid, and there's no such thing, and that means that uh, uh, TV has taught you what the world is and not the world. You watch Ratatouille I came a lot. Here, I came here with the, all the same media that says what Paris is like, and I came here and I'm like, yeah, it's just the same. It's fine. Do you think you have an advantageous position because you've been around the world a couple times? I've never been to Paris. Yeah, but you've you been have around. traveled. You, you have you, traveled, man. Do you think Paris syndrome? You think if this was the first time you left the country, you'd be a little Paris syndrome? And it's on a honeymoon? No, know? I don't think so. I, I think it's just like, it's fine. It's not... It's not garbage filth like everyone talks about it. It's also not amazing and romantic. It's just fucking a place that has a just, big building that's yeah. pointy. I went, to a, I went to a school at a place with a pointier building. Yeah, As you tall? did. Extremely pointy Shout building. Shout out Cal Poly Pomona. Shout out Gattaca. Me and Dr. Disrespect, the same school. Shit. What did you learn, Ludwig, besides a little more French? Uh, I, I learned that uh, life's better here. You think so? You don't believe that. Profito new. We we take it slower. Drink a Vogue. Smoke a cigarette. Smoke a very extremely thin cigarette. I liked my thin cigarette. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, also, also, Ludwig's sister, she'll smoke a cigarette after smoking him on the treadmill. Yeah. She's just beast Dude, we were, we were, we're athletic. I don't know what to tell you. Like, literally, I'm impressed. we came from a line of warriors. We my dad was six foot six. She's. <laughs> Someone said you were lying about that, by the way. What? He said he was <laughs> lying about it. Someone? He said it. No, it's true, man. Wait, so six, so six. your sister was like, I refuse to eat food after 9 p.m. because I don't want to get fat and it's unhealthy and yada yada. And I'm like, you were smoking cigarettes yesterday. Yeah. Do you yeah, think that eating food at 10 p.m. Uh, is worse than a cigarette? It keeps you skinnier. Yeah. Cigarettes if, are for doctor's orders in France. Yeah. Doctors, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have one of these. Uh, the girly and the you guys were all I'm smoking depressed? long penis. Yeah. Yeah. Which I felt left out. I was out. this close to smoking long penis. Dude, again. I would have been so left out if you did that. Because I smoked a cigarette in Rome when I had Zipper 2 take a picture of me. For a photo, yeah. Yeah. So I had my- That was a good picture. My, I took that one. My two year- No. What? That was a good picture. I took that one. Didn't Zipper take it. 2 took oh, it. Oh, I took the one where you had the sunglasses. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, she's pretty- She's nuts. She's uh, she's really bought into the whole French ideology. She, I mean, she was born in France. To be fair, it's in her blood. It is in her blood. That's so unfortunate. And it's not in yours. Uh, I'm the only person born from America here, man. Oh, in this family, that's is pretty you? cool. Wow, oh. I'm the American one. Uh, yeah, she's based. I mean, to be fair, she doesn't eat after nine because she used to binge like four pounds of chocolate at like eleven p.m. That's tight, though. And then wake up full of regret and sadness. <laughs> <laughs> We all have our demons, and some of them are made by Nestle. Um, 
They started playing music. They're really picking up There's in like Paris. There's like a concert going on. They're having fun, man. We live life here. Okay, yeah. so you, what did you learn, though? You already knew that you'd take it easy here. What the huh? fuck are you talking about? You've been here 12 times. Come to my <laughs> yup, yup, we're back, baby. Sorry, so what happens is our Zoom keeps dying. The also, gay, the gay Paris heat is destroying our equipment. Our wide also died. We're losing elements of our broadcast. This, this is, is kind of like is what France does. Is it slowly takes apart this technology so we can enjoy life. So we can talk to each other. Well, you so didn't, you can what I'm saying is you went for 12, you, you've been here like 12 times. You didn't learn that about Paris. You knew that they this lived like that. This is my second time What Paris. did you learn? This is my second time. I'm talking about gay Paris. This blah, is your blah, second blah. time here? Yeah, I don't go to Paris. I go to the south. So this is what you learned. What? That everyone takes it easy here. You takes it easy. You enjoy life. You have on your shoulder. They have a little Biscoff. That shit's delicious. You also just miss. The vibes are fucking getting crazy here. We're getting fun, yeah, they're baby. playing house music. The DJ football's about to show up, take a dump on the ground. It's crazy. I'm more Aiden-pilled here. In what oh, way? Yeah. I just shouted my Uber driver on the way back the whole time. Do you think it's because is it you because in you're French? in a different place yeah, or because holds. you want to use French? Uh, I think I want to use French, but I think I'm also more interested in what they have to say in French. Would you be more interested if they, you were in London? Maybe. I think there's probably routine to conversations in every country that I'm breaking because I don't know them here. Yeah. But if I'm in an Uber in America, it's very like, oh, there is a cut scene that we both know what to do. Right. That's that's true. I, I feel like when we go to Australia, or I remember being in a, a city called Newcastle in England, the... You 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 just refresh this version of what the Uber driver conversation could be. Yeah. Even though you both speak English, it's just like reskinned. You're far enough away from each other that now this conversation can go a lot of new directions. I see. And you don't need to hear about how the Uber driver actually has like a a mixtape. <laughs> this guy on the mic back there sounds like Ludwig when he's doing like an over the top French. <laughs> hey everybody! Oh, we're here to gather about the music. The music brings us together. Right. Uh, bienvenue à la premier concert avant de le Tour Eiffel. On est Come là. to our house show. Kevin Yan will be there tonight. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, Samurai Champ. Special guest Kevin Yan. On the DJ though. football. Dude, <laughs> Yan, Yan getting on the DJ on the on the turntables. Mm. That'd be so beast. You know what I learned? What? I learned that if I'm traveling with one other person, I'm having the time of my life. Wait. Any more people, it's so stressful for is me. Is that the secret? Is it, we just can't, we need to. But couldn't you just hang out with only one of us while you're here? It's not about that. What is it about? I don't know. Oh. I don't get it. Do you think genuine, because you've, ta you've talked about this before when I brought up going to Syria, you were like, I would go, I would go. And I, if we get to Syria, do you think you're actually, do you still book the flight home early? Or is it like, let's enjoy Syria together, oh, Damascus if it's, together? Th that's the thing. If it's me and you, I could stay in Syria for however long. Okay. Until, you know, until things got bad. But if it's <laughs> like being with, with a group, including Ludwig in Syria, it'd be so stressful. Right, so it's really just the group element, it's not so not so like any, be, nothing be else like, about Syria be would like be speak French particularly to stressful. It sounds like he singled someone out there, too. So if it's me and you and Syria just together, you're going to leave. Oh, be, no, me and you would be amazing. That's what I was saying. You and me. It wasn't also Yan, but it was like... Uh, He's saying if it was one guy, it would be fine. If it's me, you, Yan, do you leave? I think it's actually three is a limit. Anything, you, anything over three, I start freaking out. What about out. a group setting, like a large group of people yeah. stresses you yeah. out? Oh, what about it? Yeah. I don't know. So I there's no like know. there's no like actual logistical threat. It it's just, just is too, too many. It's things. too many. Yeah, it's do you too think many. You, do you think you lose your freedom? Yeah, I do think he defaults to being a Pokemon in a large group, and I think he would be party leader more if it was a small group. I'm okay with being in the pocket. I mean, obviously, you put me and Yan in your pocket. Having a party leader in the pocket nice. for a bit. Anything over three is is stressful for me, and I just want to recede like a hairline into the hotel. <laughs> Dude, the, the echo is crazy. Is bouncing off. So, is yeah. that an echo? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. There that's could be sound speakers does. over there, but I think it's an echo. Because it's only when it's loud. Dude, sound is so slow. Yeah. It's taking so long to get uh, to I us. I actually watched a 30-minute video about how slow the speed of light is. Oh. And then it showed how much fucking slower the speed of sound is. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so I could sleep the speed of what sound. What about the speed of love? Mm, Yo. That's what they don't talk about. That's yeah. actually, they do talk about that in Interstellar. That's another reason why it's a bad movie. It's faster than all. And when we kiss, the message will be sent around the world. He wants it from you. 
He doesn't want it, Aiden. Wonkies. You're being weird, and we all can know. We all know you're high. I was, I was kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. It's actually the heat. Yeah. I was okay. trying to beat the heat with smooches. So that's what I learned. But I did learn, you know, I had I had probably more fun on this trip than most of our travels. You've Besides just, Australia, you've just been playing Pikmin. What is it? No, the I difference? have it. I played Pikmin. The pie chart of me doing things that isn't being in the room is less. It's high. It, but it's less you than. You could normal. not have gotten. I mean, yeah. no, like in your favor. Like you could not have gotten through all Squid Game here. Did you do anything that wasn't eating food? Yeah, we did the workout, and then we went to a record shop. And, and we went yeah. to Lush. And we went to Lush. <laughs> He's going crazy, bro. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying. Guys, I'm trying. I try To you. be a friend. No, I, appre- I appreciate the effort this time, actually. It's been nice. You know, if I, but if one of you was shot in the head, I'd be a happier person. Because <laughs> then we're down to three. Because then we would who have less people. Who in particular people? would you? <laughs> who do who in particular? Yeah. I think, I think I need you. Okay. These guys, coin flip. Really? Yeah. I feel like one of us could help and be valuable. We, if we're in France, we need Ludwig. All right, we got five minutes left for you here in Paris. Guys, guys our gear just keeps dying, and we're trying to get. We're trying and to do this so for hot. you. And it's just hey, so hot. Positive you. attitude. We have gofro de sucre. What is that? It's waffles with <laughs> sugar. Gophers with sugar. What do you guys learn? Nothing. You don't know any French. What if we Use steal Americans a French dog and we train them American tricks? Ooh, because they, they don't have those. Like how to hold dogs. a rifle? Yeah. Yeah, we teach them uh, gun safety, and we teach them... We teach them gun safety and gun danger. How to hit your child. They, actually don't, they, they don't have their drug kids dogs here. here. Huh? Is hitting your kids French? No, 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 no. They don't oh, believe in No, we don't eat our kids. We give them a cigarette if they are being upset. <laughs> <laughs> he is a uh, suck on this. Mama, mama. Please, mama. nicotine. You know what's crazy in Copenhagen? You know, there is no, um, there is no age law... For when you can drink alcohol, what? Yeah, it's just when you can buy alcohol. It's when you can buy. But if you're like twelve or eleven, you can just drink it if your dad bought it for I you. I think it's similar in France. Maybe a maybe there's an age, but I remember drinking when I was fourteen. Yeah, Mo was telling us it was like you. Yeah, you could be like fourteen at the park, and if your dad is down to give you the beer, it's like you, you can, can just drink go it. Do that. That's, see, that's, do that's right. It. Let the parents decide. Dude, I love the idea of an entire nation of drunk kids. That's what D- Denmark is. And then they just, and then they like form a government. If your parents want to make you drink or make you work in the mines, you know. But they don't have mines. They're God given right. If, but no in mines. France, they make them work in the poop factory or the catacombs. Yeah, they should earn. Do you for guys want to go to the catacombs? I really want bones. I want to bring you a want ghost a back. You're not. You're not allowed to do that. Can I can't Wait, you export can't go to the, the ghost? I thought you weren't allowed to bring ghosts back. Oh, p- because oh, yeah, Zipper, I'm definitely not allowed Z- to bring Zipper 2 a, said no spirits. No spirits, ghost I'll, curses. I'll tell the ghost that it can't come in my home. I don't think I would fuck with the catacombs. Why? I think Why not? the heebie jeebies. I think I, I actually got scared about this. Like, if we go to the catacombs, Ludwig would try to, like, try to big dick us and then go in for a little bit. And then he just gets lost. No, no, I wouldn't he, fuck with that. And he's fucking dead. I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with ghosts. I believe in them. It's just a bunch of... It's not of about ghosts. It's about dying in a maze in the dark, in the <laughs> no, pitch black. I'm saying I'm I think it's irreversible and there's, no, there's nothing to support biological function anymore. I'm saying I think ghosts are real. And that's why I don't want to mess with them in the catacombs. So if there was a catacombs that had no actual bones and it was just fake bones... Hey, catacombs, we mean chuckle sandwich. You know Wait. what I'm saying? All dead. I don't know. I'm calling oh, it a dead podcast. I guess. Is this like Ooh. a reference to Charlie who died? Oh, the, wow. The whole podcast. I checked their numbers. Yeah, They're calling. doing great lately. I was yeah, I wasn't being for That's real. That's great. So I, I do. I do sometimes think, what if they? What if Chuckle Sandwich podcasted from the catacombs in France? Mm. We should have done that. We kind of just spoiled. I feel it would have been a much worse thumbnail. It would have just been black. No, if it's slime holding <laughs> like a death. bone, yeah, it'd be like death. Flash photo, slime holding a bone. That's a great thumbnail. And we, then, and then we have to make a Twitter post that said we lost Aiden. And the the title the title of the video is "This is a real human bone." <laughs> I slept Aiden in the catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> We'd what? technically be doing the same thing that Logan Paul got in trouble no, for. This just is a lot different. later. This is no, different. No, Are you kidding me? No. It's, there's not. There's no. The catacombs are a mysterious, evil place that you can get lost and die in. All the of France is a suicide forest. The catacombs are the only holy place here. Think about right, that. but it's still a dead person. You should see our bathroom. It's their bones. <sighs> yeah, bro, they're old bones. I know, it is funny that if bones get at a certain age, we're like, it's okay. Yeah, skeletons are old goofy. Bones. It's old bones. Uh, we can, we can China, dig up Ramses II. China doesn't II. think that. You know, you know how uh, skulls... And bones are not allowed in Chinese video games and yeah. Chinese media. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I that's think why that's I, probably cr- correct. I don't think we should have like a 
Oh, like, you scared of skeletons? Uh, no. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> But I don't think we should have a statute of limitations on when we should respect skeletons. Yeah, and he would. He also wants the artwork for Karthus to be different yes. than his version of the game. Thank you. Or Wraith King. I, in Minecraft, I wouldn't have the skull with fire. It would be a he bald man. You know when he's going to kill in Valorant and it show the skull? He t he toggled it off. I toggled so it's off. The, so it's no like skull. I want no skull. No skull. I think skull and bones, whack. I think you're just afraid of pirates and 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 death. treasure. I think you don't want to confront your humanity. I think I'm. I, I value it so much. That's what. It, so Ludwig was like. He's brought the pelican because it was at his sister's place. He's like, I bring the pelican. I require coffee and snacks and like tribute. I did require tribute. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's a troll toll. It was like Dark Souls. I said, I was like, you bring me coffee, water, and a snacky bears, and I bring you a pelican camera case. Yeah, and I was like, I, I brought something, and I was like, this is for my, the covenant. This he is for brought Ludwig's you a half-eaten bag of almonds. No, I was full, and I started eating it because I'm like, we have time Wait, to go get there something. There was almonds. No, I ate them. <laughs> what the fuck? On the way. I yeah. loved all I abandoned, I abandoned my covenant. I had another question. Friendship ended mm -hmm. with Ludwig. Aiden and me at that coffee shop is my new best friend. Can I say yeah. something controversial? Yes, yeah. you I may. don't understand croissants. Well, in what like, way? Why I, are yo, you eating I, a plain croissant? Can I say some real shit? We had, Aiden brought us some croissants for this from a bakery nearby. Shit's the same as America. That's actually so fucking no, stupid of Vons, you. Vons cooks it up just the same. It is one to one in this bitch. This is actually the dumbest shit you've ever said in your life. Up just like, nine just like home. dogs. Just I'm, like mama used to make. Nine, I'll give you nine dogs. You give me give nine me dogs? This. Give me this. I, I do need them. You dude. gotta prove me wrong. You gotta take me to a better bakery because that one was fucking Starbucks level. Yeah, because they were at the Chum de Mars. It's all they tourist traps. They should all be better here. Why? There shouldn't be a croissant in they France that's bad. These are some tourist traps, bro. Boom. What's up? Wow. I sleep the shit out of you. What what makes the trap like as a tourist? Is I'm that a tourist. Large? These are my traps. Yeah. They're doing yoga right here. Uh the, you guys are dumb as brick. You want to go to a bakery after this? You don't think I'm dumb as brick? I'll I'll, I'll I'll take you to a nice bakery. <laughs> nice. Very, <laughs> very nice. This, this accent is so funny. Um we got a wrap. Okay, next trip. Oh. Next trip, we go to Eastern Europe. The front lines. Rostov on well, Don. Hold up. We've been to my yes. mother in, in Ukraine. Dude, why don't we go we've to been to my why motherland. Don't we go to Kiv? We've been to your motherland. I guess we've been to both your motherlands. Wait, when have we been to my motherland? Canada. We went to UK. Oh, yeah. I guess that is your... Ethnically? That's your motherland. No, I really would be going to Canada. Should we, we go, go to Canada? Rostov on Don. He's the last one. We go to Calgary and we fucking eat moose. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> Calgary and, beat each other and, we can, and we can go, we can go, uh, I want your hot mom to cook me up power. some moose feet. <laughs> he wants his, your hot mom to cook him up moose feet. My, my mom lives in the U.S. Do you she think she's beautiful? Woman. Huh? Do you think she's beautiful? My, uh, my, my mom? Do you think that she's yeah. <laughs> beautiful? Do you yeah, think my she's mom's breathtaking? lovely. <laughs> no, beautiful. Is she beautiful? Yeah. yeah. She is. He's right. When he's right, he's right. You're Something right. we can all agree on. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I don't for, think uh, I agree on it in the way that you guys I think we're all Thanks for watching uh, the like, Yard podcast. I feel like I'm cornered. We are going to go uh, get tattoos, maybe. We'll see what all happens. All four of us are going to get tattooed together. It's going to be a good time. Definitely good sleep. some <laughs> of us are getting tattooed. And uh, vote on the Patreon where where we'll go next. <laughs> and vote, and, But you can only vote Kiv. And so, yeah, select Rostov on Don near hey, the Dnipro River. If you want the premium episode, go to the Patreon where we have the premium episode and it's the same amount of time almost and it's a premium episode. It's slightly less and it's a premium episode. And like Daniel Craig says, this camera, this camera, Ludwig, this camera, this camera, what are we doing? Bone sweet. Bone, Bone sweet. Bone sweet. Bone oh, so you're trying to do it so that you have max height? I need, I need height so I can grab the bear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> is it... So you... So that, that is actually that so move crazy. Is crazy. <laughs> that move took me like 500 yeah, attempts. Yeah. That, that is nuts. And then also what I learned, but I just want to take the landing. I could like. literally never figure out. I think this might be the way. So you can actually, if you, so go back to that move I just did where you you pop it. So if you do the same thing I did, but instead of going for the bear, you just go straight.